Hello, I'm John Proxy. I'm John on the West. I'm having a human resource machine adventure. And it looks like I've got a choice. Actually, I'm just going to go for number nine. The Zero Preservation Initiative. Year nine. It has come to our attention that the Zero Advocacy community felt the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time, send only zeros to the ad box. What happens to other numbers and letters? Management leaves that detail up to you. Might send only the zeros to the ad box. Well, that's easy, right? So we go to inbox. He's going to grab from there. Um, inbox. Jump if zero. Pass that. Outbox. Let's talk to this guy. Tell me more. Management values all numbers equally, even those numbers who have zero or negative value. And since the term negative can feel aggressive, we will refer to those brave numbers to the left of zero as values of oppositely signed opportunity. Right, let's press. Nope, no, 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 no. What am I doing? There we go. Now press play. Lovely! Ah! Hang on, what happened? So you threw that away, puts that in. Okay, throws the 8 away, puts the 0 to the out box, and then goes back to the in box. Alright, where have I gone wrong? This is the first time I've actually got stuck on one of these puzzles. Right, let's go. Let's debug this one by one, shall we? Inbox grabs the eight, and it's a zero. It's not a zero, so he's going to go to the inbox again. Yeah. So he throws that away. Oh, I see. Hang on. So he's going to outbox that. My idea was I start the entire process again. So. Inbox. It's not a zero. Okay, I know I did wrong. That should be a jump. Right, I think that'll do it. It will, re yeah, it should repeat itself unless I, um, yeah, let's press play, come on. There we go. That'll keep throwing them away. Fantastic, there we go, look at that, that's beautiful. more efficient way of doing that. With the Zero Preservation Initiative. I did the size challenge. Oh yeah, I did. And I did the speed challenge. No, I did not. Hmm. Measure the number of commands your program must execute before it finishes on average view is better. Average uh, computed by tested your solution against many deterministically generated input sets. Uh, do we have a look to if there's a better solution?
Ah. I don't get how there'd be less. That feels efficient. Alright, what if I do this? Right. Hmm. No, I don't see. Like, the videos are really, really, really short. I've got time to actually try out stuff. I'm just making sure I need that jump of zero. Okay, I've got an idea. Ah, uh, I was thinking... What if I could throw this away... No, I was thinking of ch chucking the end stuff at the start. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Like, of course I need to restart the process again. But maybe... What happens if I put it on our box? Like so. And I can throw away that jump. Right. Right, it's going to skip that initial outbox. Alright, I do And then hopefully... Alright, have I been clever here? Well, I solved it. Alright, how many was that in? Yes! Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really proud of myself. Uh, I'm just having a quick look at what I did. Uh, just so I can explain my uh, thinking towards it. Um, basically, that outbox command was superfluous most uh, some of the time but it was going through it anyway so I was skipping by putting it at the front and then immediately skipping it then it meant I only went through these three I think that's what I did well whatever it was it worked yeah pretty happy about it Let's, uh, let's let you guys go, so I've been John Proxy on channel John the West. I've been having a human resource machine adventure. I'll see you guys next time.